Hey guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sound section in Scratch. Hey guys, and for part 3 of a detailed look in Scratch, I'm going to show you how to use the sound section and the sounds tab. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with our tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to go to the sounds tab. Because otherwise, we won't have any sounds to add. The cat here has a meow sound. Other sprites have different sounds, but usually they contain the pop sound. We can add more sounds right here. We can search for a sound in the sound library. We can record a sound using our microphone. We can surprise ourselves with a random sound. And then finally, we can upload a sound from our computer. In the sound library, there are multiple categories. Animals, effects, loops, which are usually longer, notes, percussion, space, sports, voice, and wacky. I'm going to go to the loops and bring up cave. Let's listen to cave just to get a feel of what it sounds like. this sound, we can make it go faster. Slower. Louder. Softer. Or just meet the whole entire thing. Which really doesn't have a point. Fade in, fade out, reverse the sound, or make it a robot sound. You can also select a certain part of the song and do a special effect to it, like this. There are also some options up here, undo and redo which undoes and redoes what you last did, copy to copy the sounds, paste to paste them, copy to new, which copies to a new sound, and if you have something selected, you can delete a portion of the sound. Now, let's go to the code. We have a place sound cave until done block and start sound cave as our first two blocks. These essentially do the same thing at the start with one minor difference. Place sound cave waits until the sound is completely done before going on to the next block. Start sound goes straight to the next block and just starts the sound like this. You don't see an essential difference other than the green flag's look. So let's add some blocks to demonstrate this difference. When we click the green flag, with this code, we can see that the cat waits until the sound is completely done before it moves. However, start sound immediately goes to the next block, like this. As you can see, it stops in the middle, just to interrupt the sound. When you want to make a sound effect, use a start sound block to continue to the next part of the code. However, when you want to make background music, use a play sound until done block. With that, let's finally cover these two sounds brother, stop all sounds, which obviously just stops all the sounds that is continuing. You can change the pitch or pan left and right to go higher or lower like this. Pan left or right allows you to adjust where the sound comes from, the right or the left. You can also directly set the pitch or pan left and right to one of these. Clear sound effects clears all sound effects. The volume is originally set to 100, like showed, but you can also set the volume or change the volume by any value, like this. Finally, our only round block is volume, like this. Finally, just a quick note for anyone who's been used to Scratch 2.0. In Scratch 2.0, the sound blocks had some extra blocks, allowing you to make notes or play drums. 
and Scratch 3.0, they're not in the sound category, but they are an extension. The music extension that contains everything that you want. Since this is not part of the sound category, we will not cover the music extension, but we may cover it in a future video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learning how to make your own Scratch projects, hit the subscribe button. Watch out for my next video, be there or be MC squared. See ya.